We want to graph two cycles of y equals 3 cotangent of 2x plus pi, and then we need to determine the period and the equations of the asymptotes. So how are we going to do that? Well, the first thing I want to do is I need to put this in standard form. So remember that's y equals a cotangent bracket b times x minus c plus d. So we know anything before the bracket we're going to copy down. So we've got 3 cotangent. Now I need to bring out any coefficients in front of x. So I've got 2 times x minus. Well we know it's a plus here, so I'm going to put plus. Now for c, how am I going to get just pi? What do I need to multiply 2 by to get pi? Well I'm going to do pi over 2. And there is no d, but remember you want to put that kind of as your placeholder so that you know that there's nothing there. So what does that tell me? Well, that tells me that a is going to be 3, b is going to be 2, and if b is 2, then we know that the period is going to equal to pi over 2. So how does that help me? Well, we've still got c and we've got d. So now how are we going to find c? Well, we know that that's the minus c in our equation, and so if that is the minus, we notice we have a plus, so it's going to be minus pi over 2. And we said that d was 0. Now remember, if it's minus pi over 2, that's going to be minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. Now how do you find your asymptotes? So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. And remember for these, there's always a formula that's provided to you in your reading. So if you can't remember exactly what it is, make sure you check your book. Or if your teacher's really cool, then maybe they're just going to provide those for you on the exam. So this is going to be x equals pi over 2 times k. So when I get ready to actually draw my graph, I put in my values for k, and I'm going to have a vertical asymptote here. And what is that? That's pi over 2, right? Because pi over 2 times 1 is pi over 2. And if I do times a negative 1, it's going to be on the other side, so it's going to be negative pi over 2, which agrees with what we have up here that we got around when we talked about the period and we talked about c. So what does that mean? Well, that means then we're going to have to have it come down and across and down and across. Now, where should these actually cross? Well, they actually cross at negative pi over 4 and at pi over 4. So mine aren't actually drawn to scale, but remember, make sure when you do it for your classes or for your instructors that you draw the graph to scale.